So when someone presents with a concussion, they can have problems with mood, anxiety, they can have problems with their concentration and their ability to problem solve, but they can also have problems with their physical systems. So the role of the physio is to figure out what physical systems are a problem post-concussion. And those systems are four. So we have the visual system, which is the processing of the visual information, your vestibular system, which is your body's inner GPS. Uh, it controls our balance and is located in our inner ears, and it's the processing of that system. Then you've got your autonomic system, which your autonomic system controls all your automatic body regulations, like your digestion, your heart rate, your blood pressure, the release of adrenaline. And then you've got your neck, and your neck necessarily isn't a brain problem, but it's a moderate, we talk about it being a moderator, because if you've got problems with, with your neck, it can affect the recovery of the rest of those three systems. So my job as a physio is to figure out what of those four systems is a problem and to give rehab for that. When I'm assessing an athlete post-concussion, I'll start by looking at their visual system. So I'll look at particular eye movements, I'll look at the tracking of their eyes and their quick movement of their eyes, I'll look at their depth perception, and I'm looking at does that look normal? Uh, is there, do I think there's a problem there? Or how do they tolerate those eye movements? Often they don't tolerate them. Then I'll look at their vestibular system. Your vestibular system keeps the world in focus and is very, our eyes are very connected to that. So when we move our head left and right, the eyes are in focus, I can see you're stable. So I'll look at, at the vestibular system by moving the head and seeing if people can focus. I'll look at the neck and I'll do some testing of the neck. And I'm looking mostly at the upper cervical spine. So I'm looking at C1 to 3, I'm looking at whether the integrity of the spine is good, I'm looking at strength, I'm looking at motor control and sensory awareness. And at an autonomic level, the best thing that we can look at as physios is how someone's ability to exercise. So we're looking at doing a graded test to see what happens as their heart rate comes up to their symptoms.